Well, every now and then we get a white box sent to us with not much written on it. There we go, there's one. And yes, we're back in the car. This, what do you think it is? Is it the Mercedes SLR that we've been asking to review for the past year? No. Is it the new Ferrari that we've been asking to review for the past year? No. It's the uh, HTC HD Mini. Now imagine straight off that the HD2 has been shrunk a little bit and you'll get an idea about what HTC are aiming to do with this phone. Windows Mobile 6.5, all the functionality that you get on the HD2 pretty much, but a lot less um, cumbersome and large. Well, not that the HD2 was large, but uh, it's not as big. So if we pop off the back, I will just try and remove the battery cover while you just have a look at my car seat. Isn't it lovely? I wish I had the leather, but unfortunately, could only afford the upholstery. Here we go. Right, anyway, back to the phone. As you can see, I've shown you this in loads of videos, but, you know, it's just for the geeky among you. Um, HTC have really gone on a diet with their phones. They've gone uh, and tried to make them thinner and thinner. And the aerial, the antenna, whatever you want to call it, for the HD Mini is... That's it there. To connect to the antenna... Um, you actually have these little connectors down there. So that connects to the phone. I'll show you that in a minute. Now the phone itself, for those geeky people like you and me that take the back off phones, you can see the design there. See these holes actually feed through to the screws. They're real screws and these screws hold the back of the phone on. The back of the phone, as you can see, is bright yellow. It's friggin' bright Ferrari yellow. It is see-through yellow in parts down here at the bottom so you can actually see the, um, uh, the, the, the what do you call it the board the chip board it's not called chipboard is it because that's what my wardrobe's made out of chipboard anyway you know what i mean that stuff you can see the insides of the phone <laughs> i'll remember it in about half an hour but i'm not editing the video so it's going online Right, you got the SIM card here, you got the micro SD card slot there, and um, no micro SD included in this phone um, handset at the moment, but this is an early sort of um, pre release box that we've been given. Um, the battery, even the battery is bright yellow, and there we go. Is there, it's a, let me just have a look at the battery. It is um, a yellow battery. Okay, for the technical people, it's a bright yellow battery. And you can see those screws there actually hold the phone together. We've got the camera, 3.5mm audio on the top. If we put the back back on without breaking the thing, it runs Windows Mobile 6.5. And here on the bottom we've got these navigation keys. Whilst it's booting, I will show you the contents of this lovely box which will be the power charger adapter and of course you slot in the appropriate plug for your country there here in old blighty all right apples and pears we slide in our three pin good old british socket there like our plug even and that plugs into the wall and then the usb um, is presented at the back that goes into this synchronization cable and that plugs into your phone through the new industry standard micro USB plug. We've got a 3.5mm headset here which also doubles as a hands free kit if you wish. And then straight away we're into Windows Mobile 6.5. We've got the HTC Sense interface on here and um, we can scroll through this section. I must say even though Windows Mobile 6.5 is getting on in years now, Windows Mobile or Windows Phone 7 series is just round the corner, or Windows Phone 7 as it's now called. This still holds up quite well, and HTC have done all this um, to the phone. Everything you're seeing here is a HTC add-on, but it works very well indeed. We've got the uh, photos and videos here, and that swishes along quite nicely indeed. If we go into our settings which is right at the end here let's just go to the settings we can see a little bit more information about the phone here phone identity hardware information here we go 
it's a Qualcomm 600 megahertz processor inside 384 megs of RAM 512 megs of flash memory we've got a 320 by 480 pixel screen we've got Bluetooth 2.1 plus EDR and we've got um, lots of other things as well let's have a look at the phone identity let's have a look let's see if we can just hide this HD mini Mm -hmm. Ah, software information, that's what I want. This is, um, the ROM was released on the 21st of March. Uh, so it's a very new ROM by the looks of it. Um, let's have a look. Also, we've got on here all the usual stuff you would expect to see on a phone of this calibre. We've got Wi-Fi, We've got uh, Bluetooth, which I've already mentioned. Here we can change it to a Wi-Fi router if you wish. You can turn stuff on and off through these wireless controls here. We have got, if I press the Windows key, it jumps into the new Windows Mobile 6.5 um, programs listing. We've got uh, HTC Text Messages, Internet Explorer. But of course, this being HTC, I don't think they're using Internet Explorer. Now they're using the Opera browser, so we can hop into the Opera browser and we can browse the internet if we had a network connection we could anyway um, what else have we got, we've got the footprints application here's our camera shots, we've seen this already but I'll just show you that we can basically um, have a look at the pictures, we can slide through them like that or back and if I remember rightly, yeah, we've got the multi-touch we can zoom around photos, we can have a look at this lady's lovely bubble hat what a lovely bubble hat she has and we can go back, we can go into menu, we can do a slideshow. So if you've got your photos from your holiday, you can show your aunties and uncles. Look, this is some lady I met and we had a nice walk down the street and then she fell down some stairs. What a shame. Oh, but I gave her some flowers. Now we've got the HTC calendar. We've got, um, I'll show you a bit more of this stuff uh, in the coming days i've got no wi-fi connection or network connection at the moment so i'm a little bit limited got the microsoft my phone application uh, backup application got marketplace for new applications we've got outlook for getting our email messages etc etc we've got google maps let's just see that won't do much to be honest because i've got no network connection but that will use the inbuilt gps um to find out where you are but at the moment it's got no network connection. Um, let's have a look what else we have on this phone. YouTube for downloading, watching videos. Office Mobile, so we've got Excel, we've got Word, stuff like that. You can edit some files on the go. Um, we've got Windows Live for chatting online. We've got Copilot for navigation. We've got HTC Peep for connecting to Twitter. And the Facebook application. Um, a little journey around the phone. We've got these navigation keys down the bottom. We've got call answer, call drop. We've got the home key that you see me press. We've got the windows key that takes us into that menu list there. We've got the back key to go back to wherever you were. Um, it's a very shiny black surface on the front here. Um, on the back it's a sort of rubberized silvery grey uh, effect. The phone itself is very small and, and, and holds well in the hand. We've got on the left hand side the volume down, volume up and we've got the micro SD, micro USB, I must try and get those two in check, uh, connector we've got a little lanyard loop, we've got the microphone down there on the right there's nothing on the top there is a power button and the 3.5mm audio cable um, let's just take a picture just to show you um, show me taking a photo, let's go into photos and videos I press the camera, there's no dedicated camera button which I would like to see on handsets more and then press that and it takes a picture for us and then we can share that via Facebook footprints, email, MMS and I presume via Twitter if that was logged in so that is a little overview of the HEC HD Mini and we'll have more over the coming days so do check back for more videos and um, they may actually be recorded inside.